Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legit Street Cars. My name is Alex, and in today's video, we are kicking off the performance build of the 2005 E320 CDI with some exhaust modifications, except this video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm not actually gonna be working on my own car. You see, I'm just a little burnt out, and honestly, I work on cars every single day of my life and in almost every single video, so I really just need a break from all of this. Uh, so today, I brought my car to Driven Performance in Wooddale, Illinois and my good friend Matt is pretty much going to be doing all of the work on the CDI. Uh, I'm kind of just going to sit back in the waiting room and relax and just kind of see what he comes up with. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so with that being said, Matt, you ready to go? I am ready to go. I'll catch you later. What, what do you mean? <sighs> Never mind. I guess I am working on my car again. Okay, well apparently I am still gonna be working on my car, but I'm gonna get a lot of help from this guy, Matt from Driven Performance. I will link all of his info down below. These guys work on a ton of awesome car. They do a lot of cool custom work, so definitely check them out there in Wooddale, Illinois, which is very close to Chicago. So today's focus is going to be this guy right here. This is the downpipe. I bought a used one. Uh, the downpipe houses the catalytic converter, so right after the turbo, you have this massive restriction right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop this out do a straight through downpipe uh, and see how it sounds, see how the engine sounds, and then also measure the performance gain as well. Uh, so the reason I bought a used one is so if this thing stinks too bad or if it doesn't really give us much of a performance gain, I'm just gonna go right back to the factory catalytic converter. Uh, so before we do anything to this car, we have to get some baseline numbers. I don't have access to a dyno all the time. So we're gonna go out and test zero to 60 in the E320 and you guys, Probably can't see it right here, but this car does have the Mickey Thompson drag radials just like the silver one had before. And it's got snow tires up front because Chicago. All right guys, we're testing exactly like we did before, stage one tune and Mickey Thompson drag radials. And a little bit of tire spin there. And that is 60. Okay, so we did zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds. So the black CDI is actually a little bit slower than the silver CDI. We did zero to 60 in that car in 6.2 seconds with the exact same modifications, the stage one tune and the Mickey Thompson drag radials. But similar to going to a dyno, there are a ton of factors at play here. It depends on what dyno you go to and on what day. So we're on a different day, a different road, a different car altogether. So for all we know, this car's catalytic converter is slightly more plugged up than that one. Maybe the intake manifold has a little bit more soot than this one. Who knows, but we have an awesome baseline for this car, and I've done this test a few times, and 6.5 is exactly what this car does. It is dead consistent, to say the least. Also, I was data logging boost pressure. We're at 20 PSI of boost, which is perfect. That's exactly what we should have with the Stage 1 tune. So let's head back to Driven Performance, do some modifications on this exhaust, see how she sounds, and then go test 0 to 60 again to see if we've made it any faster. Okay guys, we got the exhaust heat shield off. This is really important because the air box right here sits right over the turbo and the exhaust right there. So this shield is very important, except there is a bolt back here that is in the dumbest spot, guys. It took me like 10 minutes to get one bolt out. Super over-engineered for no reason, of course. Welcome to Mercedes. But here we are. We have our turbo and our downpipe, our exhaust manifold. You can get a really good look at everything from this angle. And check it out, that is our factory uh, air intake tube that goes to right here. Uh, so a few days ago, I soaked these uh, in PB Blaster and I did it again just a few minutes ago. So we're gonna continue to soak everything so we don't have any problems taking it apart. This is a Chicago car after all, uh, but we should be okay at this point. So let's rip off the catalytic converter and see what we have to do. I mean, see what Matt has to do to modify this thing. All right, dude, so what are we thinking on this, uh, this cat? What is the game plan here? So basically, we're gonna cut the cat out here, cut the cat out here right where it expands. Okay. And I don't even think we need to put a bend in this pipe if we just go straight pipe because we're gonna cut right before right. both our 45s. Right. So and then we can put our bung right at the top. Cool, and we got like a little bung extension. As you can see here, the factory O2 bung is a little bit outside of the direct path of the turbo. So uh, we just have a little extension here to kind of space it out, so. All right, cool. So you wanna get to uh, cutting this up and I'll get to removing the factory one? Let's do it. All right. This is someone. This is someone. This is someone. This is someone. 
All right, guys, downpipe is out and take a look at the world's tiniest little turbine wheel. Look at this guy. <laughs> I can't believe how small this thing is, but it performs pretty well. Now the turbo that I've coming from the UK does have a larger turbine wheel and a larger billet compressor wheel. So that'll definitely be nice. But this turbo is quite small, especially considering that this is like a two and three quarter inch pipe. So I think Mercedes did a pretty good job sizing the exhaust. So it has me a little bit worried that maybe chopping the cat out might not do that much for us for performance, but we're gonna find out. So let's go check up on Matt and see how he's doing chopping the cat out of our used downpipe. It's a catalytic converter. <laughs> How do you like that? Cut through that stainless. It's a beast, ridiculous. right? It's ridiculous. So okay. we gotta get more blades. Looks good though. So here's the section that Matt cut off. This is the part of the exhaust that goes right on the back side of the turbo. So what we're gonna do here is snug this up with the clamp, but not all the way. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room like this so that we can get the proper angle. Uh, Matt is gonna go ahead and cut off the other side of the downpipe. We're gonna bolt that up as well. That way we know exactly where our starting point and our ending point is uh, so we can figure out exactly what we need to do with our straight pipe. So we're gonna get to work and hopefully in a few minutes we will have a catless this downpipe on the old CDI. All right, guys, we're getting so close. We have the pipe attached to the turbo. We have the other side attached to the rest of the exhaust. So now we can see that this is basically a straight shot. So this three inch pipe should work out really nicely. And we do have access to a bender, but I don't think we're gonna need to use that at all. Now this is three inch galvanized. It is not stainless. I ordered some stainless stuff off of Amazon. And of course they sent me a two and a half inch pipe instead of three. So instead of choking this thing down, we're just gonna stick with the galvanized and it's gonna be totally fine. Also, I'm gonna wrap this in some really nice titanium exhaust wrap. So this is gonna help keep the under hood temperatures down quite a bit, especially considering that we had a gigantic catalytic converter right below our plastic air box. So hopefully installing this pipe and wrapping it will also help with lowering the intake air temperatures, which will increase performance as well. So we have to fit this pipe in right here, tack it in place, remove the entire system, fully weld it, then wrap it, reinstall it, and then we're gonna see what this thing sounds like right before we go for a test drive and retest that zero to 60. Right, guys here is our final product our custom three inch downpipe for the cdi we spaced out the o2 sensor and we did mark this uh, while it was tacked into the car to know that this wouldn't hit the exhaust shield uh, we have this all wrapped up we got a little creative with our hose clamps uh, but everything fits perfectly there is clearance galore without that massive catalytic converter we dropped a few pounds here as well and we're ready to bolt this back in so i don't believe that anyone makes a custom downpipe for these cars so you will have to go uh, to an exhaust shop near you and have this done. But if you live near Chicago, stop on by Driven Performance and Matt will take care of you. Uh, also, if you wanna do stainless, that is an option as well. Uh, so I'm gonna get this bolted back in and then we're gonna see how she sounds.
All right, guys, one last look at the final product. This looks amazing. You'll notice, though, that the O2 sensor bung extender is no longer with us. For some reason, the O2 sensor would not thread into it, uh, but I don't think that matters much. The normal O2 sensor bung is actually spacing this out quite nicely, so I don't foresee any issues at all. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Okay, enough talk, enough looking at this. Let's get some sound clips. The first one is of the car completely stock, and then we're gonna compare it to how it sounds now. Hey dude, I think we're gonna need to rip these mufflers off, man. Without do a think? doubt, without a doubt. <laughs> this thing is still so quiet. So quiet. Hey, fun fact everybody, this is Matt in the seventh grade with a mullet. Check this out. <laughs> man and I went to grade school together. This is me graduating, by the way, looking all high and mighty, and then Matt just chilling <laughs> with his mullet. <laughs> Up front, you can definitely hear the turbo motor. Might be hard for you to tell, but that's definitely a little bit louder than it was before. So let's go hit the road and see how she sounds blasting to 60. All right, guys, our first blast to 60. Here we go. Oh, we're spinning. It's kind of a good sign, right? Oh, this is gonna be bad. Feels better. 6.41, but guys, that was with spinning the tires quite a bit off the line. So we gotta test that out again. I think we could do a lot better. All right, guys, here we go again. Oh, come on. Keeps on spinning the tires. And that is 60. 6.5, man. Come on. We spun a little bit, not that bad. That is 60. 6.4. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> with the drag radial still spinning them. With the snow tires, forget about it. 6.4, man, I gotta say, this car is just rock solid every time. 6.4, 6.5, it, it never fails. Okay guys, I've tested this a bunch of times. 6.4, 6.5, that is the best we can do because we are spinning off the line with this Catless downpipe. We're spinning the Mickey Thompson drag radials so with the silver CDI that was doing a quicker zero to 60. We were dead hooking. I have a really good feeling that we've gained some power here. The throttle response uh, is very quick. The car feels a lot faster and it does kind of stink a little bit more without a cat, but this is exactly why uh, I bought a used one so I could modify that and save my original in case it didn't really add much uh, with performance or if it just smells really bad and I just you know can't take it anymore uh, but I do think that once we get the bigger turbo on here having that three inch downpipe section is going to help alleviate a lot of that expanding gas uh, and allow that turbo to breathe and also I was logging we lost one psi of boost which is actually a good thing that means that we've removed a restriction and that the engine and the turbo is working a lot easier so that's awesome for the engine and we may see an increase uh, in fuel economy as well. So I'll keep you posted on that too. With that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, share the video, subscribe if you're new, and most importantly, have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next video.